you guys. This is going to be career and finance read for the collective sign of Scorpio. I hope everyone is doing good, feeling loved, being safe. And if you're dealing with heat, I hope you're staying cool, content, and just sending love to you. Okay, so let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity and for any messages you need to come through for the collective sign of Scorpio. For this, their career and finance read. In Jesus' name, amen. Alright, so, one more shuffle? Yes. Alright, Scorpio. Sacrifice. Sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, addictions. It's a sacrifice to love. One more card. Right now. Stay in the present. Don't get too far ahead of the flow. You'll soon trust that nothing more will come and can be handled each moment. Okay, listen, if you're going back to school, and which is altogether possible, a lot of people do that. Um, if you're going back to school, don't worry about when will I get have the time to do the work? When will I be able to do this? When will I be able to do that? Sacrifice too when it comes to training, job training, um, going back to school, it's worth it. Honestly, it is. So, you'll actually get into a rhythm once you are in school. Once you start classes, you'll get into this rhythm, you'll get into a flow. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it right now. Right now is not the time to really preoccupy yourself with it, especially if you've just signed up to return to school. Really direct your attention toward maybe setting a um, schedule for yourself. Get yourself on a certain um, schedule to where you always have study time. Online colleges are designed to where um, they give you ample enough time to do the work and then they stretch it out over the week. So I mean, just worry about that when it comes to it. Um, benefactor, grace and generosity, number three, number three card, card of divinity. Fools embrace, transmuting pain, 22. This is a number of the master builder, okay, in numerology. Now, it's an angelic number. Transmuting pain talks about really healing. Present moment. Being in the present moment, but healing the past. This could be, and I feel like it is, um, inner child work, going back into your childhood, um, really healing things from your upbringing, generational curses or generational patterns. That's basically what generational curse is, is generational pattern. Because each generation just assumes that they have to carry it on. That's the reason it's called generational curse. And then you got stranger, curiosity, 53. Five and three reduces down to eight, which is number of new beginning. And I feel like with the stranger curiosity card, um, this is making new friend, new connection. I feel like this is about school or you know, and when you say school, when it comes to career, this could even be just job training, too. Because you are in classes, this could just be making a friend. Um, 
Are we even getting a mentor? Teacher? The benefactor, though, I like that because that's really, if you are going to school, this is really having um, the financial support. It, hell, it could even be like grants and loans and because when you think of benefactor and the grace and generosity, um, this could be one of those things of getting a scholarship or many scholarships. But I feel like someone is there really being supportive of this change that you're making for your future. Yeah, there's the fool again. Fool's embrace, and you got the fool. This is taking a um, leap of faith into something new. Into the unknown, somewhere, it's new territory where you haven't been before. Beginning another journey. That's what the fool really represents. So you got the fool, queen of wands, hierophant, strength, ten of swords, king of cups, the moon, queen of swords. Eight of Pentacles and the Empress. Okay. Um, I just want to say this here. The end is worth the sacrifice. And it's not... When we say the end, it's not... Okay, you're done. There's a part from Toy Story 4 that I love. Where Bonnie goes to kindergarten. But it's not kindergarten. It's, it is kindergarten, but it's like the... Um, where she's first meeting her teacher and she comes out and she's like, I'm done with kindergarten, yay. Um, that's not what this is. When we say the end, it just means the end of this particular um, road. So the end is worth it. The end of this road is worth it. But you're going to have to sacrifice. You're going to have to um, really work. Stay in the present moment. Allow, that's the other thing too with this card. And I love this. Um, when they say stay in the present moment, there's a verse from the Bible that says, don't worry about tomorrow. How is it don't worry about tomorrow? Allow tomorrow to worry about itself because you can't change what's gonna happen tomorrow because you don't even know what's gonna happen tomorrow yet. So staying in the present moment and not worrying too far ahead. Anyway, but you can't worry about how you're going to juggle this. Because you have to have enough faith in yourself to know that once you get into it, you're going to find your own rhythm. You find your own rhythm when you're in the present moment and you know yourself well enough. Have faith in yourself. But see, this is the thing when it comes to, before I even get into the cards, um, there's a healing that's going to be taking place at the same time with this training. There's a healing that's working hand in hand with stepping out and learning this new thing. And it all stems from childhood. This could be one of those things to where someone told you that you don't have a future. That you couldn't do that. You're limited. There's no way that you can do that. If you listen to people that tell you that throughout your life, you would never do anything. If I listened to that, I, I wouldn't be sitting here. You see what I mean? So, I mean, these are voices of people who either need to heal themselves, and it really needs to be healed within you if you've heard this from anyone. Um, but this is from people that may have... It needs to be healed within them because they may have been one of the it may have been one of those situations where they were worried or they just wanted to keep you in a box. Like there's many different scenarios here. But there's a healing that's happening at the same time with this. So if you're stepping out and doing this, there's really a childhood inner child healing that's gonna take place every step along the way. So don't worry so much about how am I going to do this? Oh my God, I'm carrying an additional load and 
I'm not gonna be able to work this out. No, don't worry about that. I think, and I really feel like, it's as much part of the journey as it is learning this new career, this new trade, maybe. But there is a healing with it. Now, let's get into the cards. Fool. Fool's embrace, transmuting pain. Like I said, you got two different paths that are working together simultaneously. The one path is opening up because there's additional healing that needs to happen. So that's the reason both paths are kind of, I would say they're on top of each other. Like you're wa walking both at simultaneously. So you're jumping out into this training, vocation, career choice maybe. I feel like it's school, like you're learning. And it could be just the training part. At the same time, you're in this healing journey too. The Fool card talks about a new path opening up, the Fool's journey. The whole tarot deck is about the Fool's journey. So this is two different, there's two different purposes for this. By you breaking out of these restrictions that other people have put on you, you're healing the past and really being able going to be able to take a deeper look at what's kept you locked up and you're going to be able to fly so you're breaking out of a cage so that you can gain your wings so that you could go and you can experience and live life this is a really growing it's going to be a growing period for you queen of wands queen of wands sagittarian energy this is speaking your truth being your authentic self embracing who you are stepping out and taking um charge and really saying what is on your mind hierophants there's that catalyst for change there's that teacher spiritual teacher i feel like the this path is that spiritual teacher you just have to have the courage here's leo energy to face the pains of the past ten of swords I like JDS Tarot's version of like what he says about Ten of Swords, bury the dead man. Don't hold on to it, but you're going to have to have courage enough to look at it and really face it and allow healing to come from this by stepping out and taking this chance. King of Cups, I feel like this is your energy. Now this, the reason I feel like this is your energy which of course you're a water sign so I mean but I feel like this is gaining a new love and appreciation for yourself the divine masculine is the doer it's the guide it's um, the giver this is giving to yourself this is giving yourself the opportunity and the chance that you didn't feel like was yours you got the moon card the moon is about illusions. Um, the sun illuminates everything. The moon still holds things in shadow. It's also about your intuition. And it's about knowing yourself. That's divine feminine energy. So you have divine masculine energy, divine feminine energy. This healing is going to be a balancing within yourself. Because not only are you going to be able to give yourself this opportunity to try this could even be trying again, but you're going to be receiving that attention and that appreciation for yourself. Be sure to stop along the way and say, look how far I've come. Look what I've accomplished already. Look what I've done. Queen of Swords, stand in your power. Eight of Pentacles. I love this. Stand in your power while you are working on yourself. Now, last card in the deck, or well, last card in the deck, last card in the spread Empress. The Empress is the embodiment of all four of the queens. She is also mother of the tarot. She is creative force in the deck. She is perpetually pregnant. She is creating new life for herself. She is goes through a gestational period. When you talk about the Hermit card, the Hermit card, 
the hermit is about self-contemplation, self-reflection. I looked on the bottom of the deck. On the bottom of the deck, the lover's card. It's about choice. And now every time I see this card, it's about choosing yourself, choosing to love yourself, choosing to take a chance on yourself. The Empress is really about creating a new life and writing your own story. A very creative energy. You have the ability to tell yourself what kind of life that you want to lead. You do. So this is about telling yourself and going after it. This is about embracing and it may feel like you're in a cocoon for a minute. It's because there's a gestational period before it births new into your life. So for the collective sign of Scorpio, this is your career and finance read, love and light.